Another Brick fan with an Infinity Saga set. This is Bro Thor's New Asgard. This is set 76200, was released in August 2021, has 265 pieces, two-ish minifigures, and cost about $30 when it was released. As you can see, this is a miniature room with all kinds of stuff in it. We'll try and take a look at all of the little details that are in this room. And it kind of reminds me a little bit about of the kind of like the friends build, you know, where it's showing off a room that's kind of brick built and, and open up as kind of a stage scene. It has all kinds of great details in here from the pizza boxes to the newspaper to the signage, pictures on the wall and, and the television set. All kinds of really small details and we'll try and capture quite a few of those as we look more into the set. There are three minifigures that come with it. There are two and a half minifigures because we have Mike, who is this little purple thing here, that, that little creature that's the friend of uh, Korg, the rock guy here. So let's take a look at some of the details on this set and then we'll take a close look at the minifigures. Here is, let's start with this sign that it comes with. It says, Wel welcome to new Asgard. Uh, this is Velkomen Tel Tonisberg, which all kinds of little uh, decorative pieces in here. So let's start up over here. On this top shelf, we have some a pan, a whip piece. Moving over here, there's kind of a bookshelf with a golden goblet, some books. Looks like a trophy and another bottle. Uh, moving over to this side. Moving over to this side, you see there's kind of a this fork here, or maybe it's supposed to represent a trident. There's a ship down here. Down below here is a keg. There's a fireplace and then a chest in front of the fireplace with some bottles and a fish in it. Uh, there's a video game controller here on this little table. A paddle, shovel, another golden goblet. Of course, Stormbreaker is back here. It has a spot for that as well. There's this picture here. It looks like uh, Thor with his uh, companions from the first movie. Of course, it shows it being put on there kind of crooked. You can put it, you can position it how you want. The television set is this nice print, which looks like uh, Thor himself and looks like he's got both Molnir, his hammer, and Stormbreaker, the new axe that he got. Down below here, we have a newspaper, and you see that has the New Asgard Times, and the headline is Five Years After the Blip. There are several of these Stormbreakers pizza boxes lying around. I think there's three of them in this set, but then there are stacks of these boxes. If you take a quicker look, close look, there are stacks of boxes. So there's two over here, maybe four here. There's a couple more back here behind Storm by Stormbreaker. There's also a can hiding back here. There's a cookie over here on the TV stand, a piece of pizza like on the sofa and stuff. Obviously not, they don't keep the house super clean either. Lots of really cool details in this set and it makes for a really nice little display scene. This uh, couch done in the sand green is, built, is nicely brick built and fits two minifigures very comfortably. Let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. Here's a closer look at the three minifigures and as we see we have Bro Thor, shirtless and a little bit of a gut showing there. He's got a bottle in his hand and a piece of pizza. This is Mike, that little slug-like creature that we saw in, certainly we saw in Endgame but we we're introduced to in Thor Ragnarok. And then here is Korg, who also came out of Thor Ragnarok, and he's got this these headphone piece here that's in this tan color. Also a piece of pizza and a video game controller. As I mentioned during when we were looking at the room, there's all kinds of junk kind of scattered around. You know, bottles, the games, and pizza, pizza pieces, and everything. So 
looking at these, so Thor's got these pants that are quite well printed, you know, kind of a hash pattern there. Korg is done with kind of a Hawaiian shirt that's open, showing his rocky chest here. This headpiece or the hairpiece here is kind of rocky as well. Good printing on his face. Mike is just this multiple-eyed minifigure head with a couple of flower pieces underneath to represent his body. Thor does have a good smile on his face and a, quite a bit of facial hair going on here. No side printing, although Korg does have these dual colored arms. There's more of the kind of leaf Hawaiian shirt or Aloha shirt pattern on Korg here. Thor does have his powered up face. And then the back of Korg, he's got a little bit more of a smile. And Mike obviously does not have an alternate expression. Interestingly, Thor's back looks a little more muscular than his front in this case. So there are the three minifigures that come with it. Let's go back and I will give you my final thoughts on the set. Overall, this is a fun set. As I mentioned, as we were looking around the room, there's lots of little details and callbacks to the different movies from the franchise. And certainly this is the scene where they go to visit Thor in Endgame. And the minifigures are nicely done, very well printed, uh, have some very good detailing with them. Those headphones that come with Korg are actually quite nice. Mike actually looks pretty good, the little lizard guy there with a big minifigure head and then a couple of those little flower pieces to make up his body. And then of course, bro Thor with the uh, gut from the too much clean, too much living. The little new Asgard sign here is also pretty cool. So overall a fun little set and it comes with 265 pieces, cost about $30. I think probably just a bit overpriced. It is a pretty small set. Although if you're a fan, if you're a Thor fan, this is definitely a good set to get because of all the really cool little detail and it's a very good display piece. So a little over the 10 cent per piece cost, but as a Marvel set, um, I think it's pretty good. I believe I got this one on sale, so it was a good deal for me. And hopefully you can find uh, these on sale still nowadays. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Marvel set. I'm gonna get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to my other Marvel superhero reviews up here on the screen.